Okay, I can't wait. They gave this donut to me, hot and fresh, warm and sticky, and I have to have a bite now. Okay. Okay, I am very excited to do this video. I've been watching a lot of Shane Dawson, and he has... He makes a lot of videos where he eats things for just like weird menu items from Taco Bell or from McDonald's, and he's done ones about donuts. My cats are really full of it, aren't you? <laughs> if you don't know me, if you've never met me, and you've seen like two of my videos maybe, you probably know that I'm obsessed with donuts. For one, here's my shirt. Um, this is a painting I made, and then I had it printed through Redbubble. That link is in the description. I have this donut tattoo, um, and then I have a whole bunch of donut artwork. I love donuts, plain and simple. I'm a donut connoisseur, if you will. I would love to do a video where I go around Vancouver and taste all the different donuts. That is forthcoming. I will do that one day. But for today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the very bottom of the donut food chain, and that is grocery store donuts. So here we are. I have a half dozen donuts from Safeway, and you know what? Generally, I would say Safeway has pretty decent donuts. I've had Krispy Kreme. I hate Krispy... hates a strong word. I've had... I don't know if I've ever had Dunkin' Donuts, but I feel like those are like the bottom of the bottom to me. Another thing that you should know about me is I'm not a huge fan of yeast donuts. I really prefer cake donuts, so a yeast donut has to like really be above and beyond for me to like think it's very good at all. I find that yeast donuts get like sweaty really easily and there's that glaze over them and they're sort of like really like wet on the outside and then kind of like they get kind of mushy on the inside but not in like a cool like the cruller is like a really good like soft melt in your mouth kind of donut. The yeast is like it started sweating as soon as it got out of the fryer. It's like it ran around the block. It's like the donut that's like still going through puberty and like doesn't have its like armpits under control. So it's just like always like sweating and staining its t-shirts. Like that's the yeast donut. I have some yeast donuts here. We will talk about yeast donuts more. First, I need to go get my cup of coffee. Okay, so let's start with this. Let's just open up the box here. All right, here's what we have. We have a jelly donut, a just regular glazed donut, a croissant donut, which by now you've already seen me take this bite out of, an uh, apple fritter, I'm assuming a Boston cream, I'm not sure if it's actually cream filled, and a honey cruller. And this many times, it's my go-to when I go to Safeway. It is uh, so good. Lola, please. This is usually the donut that I avoid. It's what I think is wrong with Krispy Kreme. It's like, this is their main donut. I love anything jelly filled. Okay, so which one should I start with? Let's just start with the fritter. Let's just start with the classic apple fritter. It pulls apart, yeah, that's definitely a yeast donut. But apple fritters are really good. I always really enjoy them. Yeah. Safeway makes a mean apple fritter donut. Yeah, growing up, my dad used to get me donuts every Saturday morning. He would go to the donut shop that was next to the grocery store where he went grocery shopping, and he would get me, I don't know, like a cream-filled donut or one with sprinkles on it, whatever it was. He would always get an apple fritter. At the time, I thought they were gross because I had kid taste. Did you hear that crunch? Oh, man. Anyway, I think my love for donuts really comes from like my dad's conditioning of always getting me donuts. They're such a great little treat to have. And to have them like in the morning, like with like chocolate milk. I was just living the life. Okay, so here's the thing about yeast donuts. Is you pretty much have to eat them fresh. This glazed one is already weird. It's already like wet and weird and I don't like it. This is the least appetizing thing to me. When you frost a cake donut, it does not get sweaty. You could eat a cake donut like two days later and it's still fine. You could probably like have a drinking game to the amount of times that I say sweat in this video. But it, when, you ha when you eat donuts, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm stuffing my face with the apple fritter. I have more donuts to get to. Let's go for the jelly. 
Love a jelly donut. A donut that's filled? Yeah, any any day of the week. It's so sweet and like so not real fruit. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I've just been unlucky, but I feel like sometimes Safeway's like, yes, yes, here is the cream filled donut, but then it's not cream filled. Oh, I just found the cream filling. Okay, so it's cream filled. Oh. Mm. The chocolate layer, like really thick and really hard. <laughs> Can you hear that? The custard is so so. Tastes like it's from a package, you know, like when you make a pa like a packaged custard. This is not my favorite donut in the world. I don't love this. I don't. I love a chocolate covered donut, but like it's just peeling off like in the firm. Okay, moving on. Let's get this guy out of the way. Okay. So I think he looks gross. All he's done is go from Safeway to my house. He was made like maybe an hour or two ago. He's not that old. He's looking sad. Let's have a bite. Oh. <laughs> you know what? What are you doing? For all the shit I talked, this is pretty good. <laughs> There is something to say about like how simple this is. And it's super fluffy. Like I bit into it and I was like, I wasn't expecting it to be so fluffy. I can't believe I judged, judged her so hard. I'm so sorry. This is a good old fashioned cruller. It's my other go-to when I go to Safeway for donuts. Mmm. She's weird today. She's like eggy? Pulled apart pretty nice. Mmm. Yeah, like the flavor's a little weird. It's just sort of like eggy or like sort of processed. I'm still eating it. <laughs> then we have my favorite, the croissant donut. They gave this to me fresh out of the fryer. It was so warm and gooey. I was like everything to restrain myself from eating it like when they handed me the box. These like crispy bits on the bottom where it's like sort of burnt. So you almost get like a savory flavor. And like, it's kind of oily and like, <laughs> when you eat it, you know that it's like so bad for you and like, it's so worth it. That's it. That's my somewhat comprehensive donut review. If I want a real good donut, I would bypass Safeway because there are better donuts out there. But if you're at the grocery store and you have a hankering, you know what? Safeway does the trick. At the end of the day, a donut's a donut. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. You can get a pretty good donut, probably just about anywhere besides Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit different than my usual shtick, uh, which is like doing art. I really love food. I draw food a lot. I paint food a lot. I love donuts. That's in a lot of my artwork, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Please hit subscribe to see more videos like this one. Follow me at B. Uh on Twitter and Instagram and all the social medias. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you like this video. If you'd like to see more where I eat different foods or where I make foods. See you guys in the next video.